Chapter 254 Nine Golden Cores No Problem Xuan Bujang patted his chest, I promise to take care of them as if they're one of us. He Chanking looked at Chen Yiling, she's suitable to follow our sword nation. Linger, can you do it alone? Song Shi asked, Chen Yiling was indeed suitable to follow the sword nation. Sure. Chen Yiling's attitude towards Song Shi had changed drastically. It was rare for this person to still want to help them. After the people from the various large factions more or less gathered together, the sky suddenly darkened, and many genius elders approached. The King of Great Jin was the fastest. He instantly appeared outside the vortex and looked at Jin Wuji with dissatisfaction. Make up for your own mistake. I don't want to see him walk out of the mystic realm alive. He did not even look at Song Shi and did not take him seriously at all. Song Shi sneered, sadly. I might not be able to let you get what you want. The King of Great Jin still did not look at San Shi. Instead, he raised his hand and the power of heaven and earth fluctuated. A spiritual rain fell. Let's recover our cultivation first. Only then will we have a chance to deal with some people. What the FCK are you talking about? This was the first time San Shi had been ignored like this. He cursed. The Jin Nation's leader finally looked at him and said, If it weren't for the fact that I'm not allowed to do anything here, you would have died countless times already. That's a pity. Song Shi was not afraid at all. He even hoped that this fellow would kill him. That way, the rewards would be very rich. Blood-robed old ghost, can you keep a low profile? What you're doing makes me tremble in fear. John Shaw could not help but send a voice transmission to stop him. He felt that if this continued, none of them would be able to leave this place. Once they left, they would be attacked by Great Jin. Troublesome. Song Shi was a little unsatisfied. If not for John Sha and the others, he would definitely have gone all out. Xuan Bujang raised his thumb. He did not dare to do such a thing, not only because he was the ruler of a country, but also because his strength had already reached the soul transformation realm. Song Shi did not say anything else. He brought his own people to restore their strength and prepare for the upcoming chaotic battle. Among the various factions, the Nine Nations had the most officials, followed by the demon race and ordinary sects. Many sects joined forces, such as the demonic sects. It was the same for the orthodox sects. The difference in numbers was hence not too great. Fifteen minutes passed quickly. Song Shi looked at the vortex and said to Chen Niling and the others, I'll go in first. In front of everyone, Song Shi landed in the vortex and disappeared with the spatial fluctuations. Is this guy really going in solo? Lu Yoayu pursed her lips. It's best if he doesn't go with you. Otherwise, the trouble he causes will be enough to kill you. Xuan Bujang shook his head. Take this sensing talisman and meet up with us as soon as possible after you are randomly teleported in. On the other side, San Shi felt the world spin. The surrounding space was distorted and he could not see clearly. When he returned to normal, he appeared in a primeval forest. He looked up and felt that it was similar to the outside. Here, his Dharma treasures and other things shone brightly. He could finally use them. He acutely sensed that the concentration of spiritual chi here was much higher. And the surrounding vegetation was also different, as if he had come to ancient times. As his thoughts spread, San Shi felt a suppressive force. It could not compare to the Immortal Opportunity platform, but it still prevented him from releasing his divine consciousness too far. There is about twice the pressure here, which is equivalent to the level of the 1,000th step outside. No wonder only those who have reached the 3,000th step can enter. Those without any foundation will suffer even if they come. San Shi fell into deep thought. After investigating, he found that he was in a rather wide primitive forest, but he had yet to find the edge of the forest. Logically speaking, with his current mental strength, even if it was suppressed, it would not be a problem for him to explore 30 to 50 miles. It seemed that this space was larger than he had imagined. Walking on the soft ground paved with fallen leaves, a centipede that was afoot. Long suddenly crawled out, wanting to crawl into his shoes. A circle of ripples was released, and the centipede was killed. After cutting off the head and tail, Sanchi roasted it with fire and ate it. Let's eat something first and find a quiet place to cultivate. Song Shi muttered and realized that the centipedes tasted pretty good. With a stomp of his feet, a few more centipedes were shaken out from the ground. He remembered that he still had the seven-colored centipede. He took out the black alms bowl and looked at the sleeping fellow inside. He curled his lips, 
It's useless to raise it. With a slap, Song Shi roasted it and ate it as a snack. The centipede was just an appetizer. He walked towards a certain direction with a destination in mind. Soon, a wild beast scream sounded. A few minutes later, in a cave filled with vines, Song Shi threw out a row of ray flags. He formed an incantation gesture and activated them. He released the array formation power and disappeared into thin air as the surrounding air squirmed. After covering his tracks, Sanchi turned around and processed a tricolor elk the size of a calf. He sprinkled salt on it and roasted it. The taste was excellent. As he ate the roasted meat, Sanchi looked at the sky outside. Impressive. This space is actually so big. I wonder how it was created. Curious. Sanchi flipped his hand and took out the supreme yawn true fire. The nine yawn divine technique circulated, and a fireball rose from Sanchi's stanchion, forming a devouring power that slowly absorbed and refined the supreme yawn true fire. Sanchi's body heated up. The power of the supreme yawn true fire was indeed much stronger. Even a wisp of it made him, who cultivated yawn techniques, uncomfortable. He quickly turned into a burning man and swallowed all the supreme yawn true fire. This wisp of high-level true fire was more like a catalyst. After absorbing the pure yawn true fire in his body, he found the direction on how to cultivate it, and its quality successfully increased, causing the true fire contained in his other golden cores to transform. Not only his golden cores, but the true fire contained in Sancha's flesh and blood also transformed. When the true fire contained in the six golden cores and his flesh and blood completely transformed, Sanchez's aura immediately became stronger. His dharmic powers had become purer. If he used his nomological powers, the power would be even more terrifying. After crossing the stage of the nine yon true fire, I can directly condense an even stronger supreme yon true fire and save a lot of time. Sanchi was very satisfied. Originally, he had to condense nine golden cores in order to successfully cultivate the complete version of the nine yon true fire before he could cultivate the supreme yon true fire. Now that he had achieved it in one step, he could now absorb the supreme yon true fire and directly cultivate the supreme yon true fire. The power of his nomological power and divine powers would multiply exponentially. I condensed the supreme yon true fire in advance, but my realm didn't increase. I suppose I still have to condense the nine suns. Sanchi took out another treasure. It was the essence breaking pill. This pill was used to assist a golden core cultivator to break through to the nascent soul realm. It could provide a vast amount of spiritual energy to prevent failure in forming the nascent soul. Song Shi was not interested in waiting until he was about to break through. He ate it despite his mid-stage golden core cultivation. Boom! As medicinal effect was released, there was a roar in his ears. Song Shi's expression changed slightly, and he felt as if he was being inflated. The six golden cores moved and absorbed it crazily. Their golden cores expanded at an extremely fast speed. Not only the six golden cores, but the dharmic powers at his seventh acupuncture point formed a vortex and began to condense new golden cores. One, two, three. In a few days, three golden cores appeared on Sancha's body, with the total number reaching nine. The nine suns merged into one and shone brightly. The energy released made the soul and rocks in the cave melt.